While some are giving this holiday season, others are taking. As shoppers flock to stores to get gifts, some choose to grab items without paying. TV6's Blair Caldwell tells us tonight in our Consumer Watch how not paying for that gift could end up costing you much more. Stores this time of year are packed with shoppers getting all of their Christmas needs. From presents to food, the holidays can be expensive. People get desperate. They realize that they don't have a gift for their for their loved ones, and unfortunately, they, they take it upon themselves to acquire, you know, by shopliftings. Whether it's something small like a piece of candy or much larger, up to two hundred dollars, it all counts as a misdemeanor. That means you could spend time in jail or pay much more than the item itself. The person who stole the item is arrested. They are put in handcuffs. They are transported to the police department in handcuffs. And we do have to process them like we would any other arrest. So there is a, a booking that has to take place. Fingerprints, uh, photograph, mugshot. Um, it's the same procedure as if it was any other crime. Stores say they find evidence of shoplifting in unique ways daily. This hurts not only the store's costs, but also employees. That's why they bring in extra staff for the influx of shoppers. It's pretty much all hands on deck. Everybody's, you know, has an open eye out for it. We have to physically witness the person, you know, putting it on their on their body and concealing it. Um, and then we have to make uh, make the stop at the appropriate time. Police also warn shoppers to be cautious about where they place things. Not only are thieves thinking in the store, but also in the parking lot, around your car and your personal items. Blair Caldwell, TV6 News, Marquette.